Namaskaram. In this video, I am having a very interesting topic on uh, meter or no meter. Meter are these uh, clips, metallic or plastic clips that you wear in your uh, on your right hand index and middle fingers to plug the string of a veena. It has been a long standing debate whether uh, one should be given a meter or not, or one should be playing only with bare hands. Yes, while I do agree with the school of thought that the flesh, the fingers must be able to feel the string, the kind of pressure that it must exert on the string in order to bring out different tonal effects. It is very, very important because Veena is an acoustic instrument and under, uh, unless and until this interplay of our human body with the instrument is very well established, the understanding of pressure play is very well uh, understood with bare hands, then you cannot bring out the beauty of the vocal nature of the instrument that well. While I do agree with all of that, there is a scientific aspect to why some people may be needing extra help in bringing out that tonal effects. Up till Varnams, you must, teachers must go on with students uh, with, to, to use bare hands. Students must get that experience, experience of their flesh literally, you know, giving that kind of, uh, exerting that kind of pressure on the strings. But after two varnams, if a teacher is noticing that the students, the sound that the student is producing in spite of the best efforts of the teacher and the students, uh, the sound that is coming out, the tonal quality is not good, the lesson is getting cut in the middle, the sound is a little patchy, then the alarm bells are ringing. Because quite a few of us, including me, we have thin layers of skin. Skin has different textures. And when you're talking about textures, you're talking about the thickness of the skin also. That is also part of this uh, texture, along with softness, roughness, and so on. Now, when you have very thin skin layers, which are also very soft, playing the harsh third speeds of Varnams uh, becomes very difficult. Carrying it through without giving cuts to the sounds becomes really difficult. This is a physiological problem that one has to address. Now, is the stu student going to lose interest in what they are doing, give up music altogether and move away? Or we are going to just have an addition of these clips on their index and middle fingers of the right hand, give them that kind of a little prop so that they'll be able to enjoy their musical journey. And it's nothing wrong. It is just a small physiological issue that is being corrected. Just like how you see athletes in a track event, their shoes are very, very important. Some have short legs, long legs, some don't have that uh, curve on their foot. So they need to do a lot of adjustment of the shoes to be able to do their running. This is what we are doing. We are just adding these two small clips to our uh, right hand to facilitate the uh, free flow of sound. So now once you put these clips, you will have to do special practice of uh, plucking again. Do plucking exercises every day with the clips on of the first string, second string, third string, 10 minutes of only the right hand plucking practices with the help of a metronome. I, I've done these uh, videos time and again. They help you not only to get your uh, clips, you know, the hand fingers with clips to get used to the strings. They also facilitate movement of tempo, the understanding of tempo by the right hand. So do a lot of plucking exercises before you actually start playing songs with the clips on. Now in the market you are going to get these kind of clips. Two, these are two varieties that I have seen. Maybe there are other varieties also. So one is the plastic kind and the other one is metal. So if you notice just above the plastic you have a V-shaped clip at the top. Now the size of these clips vary. Some, some are really very short, some are very long. I prefer the ones which have a long clip at the top. I prefer also the metallic clips. But only just because I have gotten adjusted to it. So you can choose any of the two depending on the size of your hand. I have long fingers. So this suits me better is what I feel. Go ahead and choose the uh, right type of clips. Practice your strumming exercises and enjoy your music. This should not, the fact that your skin layer is thin or soft should not be a deterrent for you to continue playing your veena. It is such a beautiful instrument and the journey has to be really very organized and very... Um, uh, Engaging. 
So do not worry, teachers. I I uh, request teachers also to address this issue at the appropriate time. Give them some time to feel the instrument with their uh, bare fingers. Once uh, you reach a level and you feel it is not possible, go ahead and use your meter. But for those of you who are blessed with good good textured skin, I think you should just go and enjoy. Go on enjoying this journey without the clips. So with clips or without clips is no question at all. Physiological defects need to be addressed for whichever art that we are doing. If we have some issues, small adjustments can be made so that you keep enjoying your music. I hope this video has thrown a lot of light into why we have to use a meter or not use a meter. If you have any other uh, views, please write in my comment section. I am open to having a, a, a healthy discussion on this point. Thank you.